All right. This is a little solenoid engine I built out of scrap parts that were laying around the garage. It's just uh, one of the test runs. I'm trying to get it up to a thousand RPM. So far, I'm only getting about 550 out of it. All we basically do is uh, give it a little kick, and away she goes. Basically, I built it out of scrap parts that were laying around that I've collected over the years. The pulley there is off a 1950s air compressor. The uh, base is scrap steel I had laying around. The solenoid is a PTO idle solenoid that used to be on a, a service truck I worked on. Regular 12 volt battery. Little micro switch out of a ceiling lift. I did actually have to buy, buy the bearings just because I didn't have any way around. Shaft itself is a, it's an agitator shaft out of an old washing machine. We'll just let her get up to speed here. Generally after about 15 minutes I'm up to around 600 RPM. So I'm trying to tweak that to make it a little faster but we'll have to see how it goes. Put a little plastic cylinder on top of the solenoid to keep the piston from jamming up. There's the micro switch there, but he just works off the counterweight on the crank. See if we can get the uh, And it's still accelerating. There you have it. Solenoid motor is made from scrap parts. Now the next step is to see if I can actually get it to do any work. And you'll have to stay tuned for that one later. <laughs> 